Welcome to the first FitGab vlog. So today I'm gonna bring you guys with me to the gym. We're gonna do a few workouts. Um, I don't do anything too crazy. Today's Friday, I don't do anything too crazy on Fridays. So um, let's see what I end up doing. Prodigy, he ain't signed me, but he proud of me. I got some ideas that you gotta see. Make a vid with Shorty and they ship it like the I I had to master stand pizza. I made it through, made it through, made it through. And everything. So I'm just now pulling up to the gym. It's Friday. It doesn't look like there's a lot of people. I don't like when there's a lot of people because my gym is really small. And people like hog. People like go on every everything. So the workout is very limited when there is a lot of people at a small gym. Um, now mind you, I where the gym is situated, there are not a lot of businesses around. So, and I see quite a bit of cars. So I'm just hoping that those people are not at the gym because I really want to work out and do like a full workout for you guys and show you guys exactly what I do. So let's just go in and see what happens. Basically, um, I have to bring in my my change of shoes. I just have these like normal Adidas shoes. Um, my gym pass, I bring in. Oops! Oh my gosh, I forgot my headphones. Ugh, whatever. And then my water bottle. And that's all I bring into the gym. So once I get to the gym, I proceed to getting myself a little cubby. Uh, since it's a very small gym, there are no locker rooms in my gym. Then again, I go and I go on the elliptical machine and do about 20 minutes on there. And then I proceed to doing some leg press. Uh, and I do three sets of 10 reps and um, with uh, 130 pounds. Then I go to the hip abduction machine and I, I'm i doing 55 pounds right now, but as time goes on, I will increase it. Uh, and then preceding that, I get on the Stairmaster machine for about 20 minutes. And since today was leg day, I tend to stand on the edge of the stairs in order to work my calves a little bit better. Well, I'm back from the gym. That was a pretty good workout. I'm on my way home now. Uh, next time I'll have somebody come with me so I can film my whole workout. Hi guys, um, I'm already back from the gym. I'm home now. I already had my post-workout meal. So leave a comment down below or just like this video if you would like to see another video of me giving you the recipe or showing you what I eat after a workout. Uh, today I just had some oatmeal and some peanut butter toast and a banana but you know, just leave a thumbs up or comment down below if you would like me to have a recipe for you guys up and I will do that for the next FitGab video. Um, but yeah no I was thinking about social media and how People nowadays don't really know who they are as much as they think. Uh, for example, like there are certain core values. There are certain things that you are deep down. Social media has perpetuated that problem a lot more because people spend a lot more time comparing themselves to others through social media. And focusing less on what they need to be doing or who they need to truly be 
they use other people, people that they follow, as an example. It's very hard to be yourself nowadays. I was looking at Serena Williams, I think a couple of days ago, and she was at a press conference. She, her eyebrows were like on fleek. They were like the on fleek type of eyebrows. Like they were looking good, okay? And don't get me wrong, she's a beautiful woman outside of her eyebrows. However, I remember a couple months ago, uh, she had a picture come out and her eyebrows were, I guess, in its natural state. And a lot of people were criticizing her, saying, well, you know, she's the champion in tennis, blah, blah, blah. She has all this money. How come her eyebrows still looking like ratchet, you know? No matter how good you are at something, you can be the best tennis player, you can be the best public speaker, you can be the best actress. But if you don't look the way that people want you to look... It's almost as if like your talent doesn't really matter. That being said, me going to the gym and a lot of other people going to the gym, make sure that you're being yourself when doing it. Make sure that you're doing it because you want to do it, because you feel that your body needs that workout in order to, you know, elevate your mood or, you know, get your body going and get your uh, heart going and get your brain functioning properly. In the process, you will get that body that you want. First and foremost, before starting to work out, try not to do it for other people. Try not to do it to look good for others. Because at the end of the day, people's um, interpretation, people's idea of what looks good, beauty is different for everybody. So once you start doing something for others, you always find yourself changing, always find yourself going from one thing to another, and at the end of the day, you will lose yourself in the midst of it all. So always remember to be yourself, um, always remember to do things for you, and do things and do what's best for yourself, and then everything else will come after that. Because at the end of the day, uh, when all is said and done, when everybody's out of the room, you're left with yourself. So you need to be um, in harmony with yourself. You need to be happy with yourself and be happy that you are no different inside and out. All right, so that was just my little talk, post-gym talk, as I was thinking about this. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. See you next Friday. <music>